YouTube, this is Star Strike Duos. As you can see right here, I have half a box of Judgment of the Light and two special editions of Gladiator's Assault. Now, this is my prize from last week's locals, or a couple days ago anyway, um, from TCS Cards. And I played Fire Fist. I got up to the finals against my friend Christopher. You guys know him as Yu-Gi-Oh! memes. And he basically helped me build a deck and taught me how to play Fire Fist. And I knew he was going to beat me anyway, just because he's a good player. And uh, when your master teaches you how to play things, he knows your play style and things like that. So we just decided to split. First place got a judgment, um, any box, either Shadow Spectres, Judgment of the Light, um, and three of these special editions. So we just shared the prize. He ended up giving me two of these to open up on video. And then I also got half the box. Um, but yeah, shout out to TCS Cards, of course, as always. Um, we finally got an Amazon. I'm just going to go ahead and start opening the box. We finally got an Amazon going so you guys can purchase cards from us. Um, it is Amazon.com. And then just search up the user TCS Cards. And hopefully you can get some of this stuff we pull or um any other cards you need anyway the reason why i chose a gladiator's assault special edition over the other special editions we have at our store is because i thought it would make a more interesting opening uh rather than like return of the duelist per se um or yeah we didn't really have any i would have gotten like cosmo blazer if there was something really good but we were run out of those just because cosmo blazer is still pretty popular even though it's a little bit older um and the reason me and chris and uh chose not to get the Shadow Spectre's box is because I think Judgment of Light is better right now. It has things like uh, Star Eater, Bujin Yamato, uh, I'm missing a bunch of stuff, Wolf Bark. So, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and save these for last and go straight into the Judgment of Light. Um, yeah, okay, these. And yeah, so let's see what we pull from Judgment of the Light. Um, I actually watched Christopher open his half of the box and he did not pull the secret, so hopefully that means we have the secret. Maybe, I don't know. And we have my mom helping us record right here. How's it in the shop? Is it fine? Very pretty colors. Uh, so for our first rare, we have Underworld uh, Fighter Thing. And so I don't know how to say that. And a Mask Chameleon. So pretty cool Ultra. Not too bad. I'm going to take everything off screen. And then the last three comments. I'm not going to spend too much time in the comments because I don't want the video to be super long. Fencing Fire Fair. I like your mask. Oh yeah, thank you. This is official Star Strike Duelist map, guys. With shooting Star Dragon on it. Uh, next rare is a Kieran. Funny because I won with Fire Fist. But yep, I just like Judgment of the Light. Um, it was it was kind of the first set where the ratio started to be a little bit different, where you're not guaranteed things like an ultimate, um, etc. So I thought Judgment of the Light would be pretty cool. Uh, a rare and a super C39 Utopia victory. Not a horrible super, but not too good. Not the kind we want to see. But it's okay. We still have, hopefully, uh, maybe an ultimate and a secret. And should have a couple more supers as well. Hmm. And then Gladiator's Assault also has some cool secret rares. Oh, another C uh, number card for another super. Bujin Crane, not a bad rare. Um... From Gladiator's Assault, there's a lot of cool secrets like Necroface, Soul Taker. I know it's pretty hard to pull those, but I thought it would be a more interesting opening than like Return of the Duelist. I mean, Return of the Duelist doesn't have too many good stuff. I mean, there's like Armor, Priestess isn't bad, but that just got reprinted. Googly Eyes, Drum Dragon. A rare uh, t Tour Bus card. Yeah, uh, I like Gladiator's Assault. That's what that's usually the special edition that people choose when you come to our store. Um, just because we have like a lot of them and people tend to pre pull pretty well from them. So hopefully it's good luck. Flying C. Your motto is pretty high in price right now just because Bujins are pretty popular. And hopefully we can pull something. Maybe a ghost rare for lucky. Uh, Master Million is actually not that bad. I don't mind pulling that. Um, it's not like the most expensive card, but at least it's not a horrible Ultra. I think Chris got like one of the Mechum Phantom Beast Ultras in his uh, box, so that's uh, a little bit better than his. Oh, so we have a V Salamander and an Ultimate Rare Rank of Magic Force. That is very disappointing, to be honest. Like, I've, we actually pulled the Ultimate Rare, and it happens to be this. We're very sad, but it's okay. At least we can say we pulled the Ultimate. Hopefully our other packs don't let us down. Alright, 
Alright, so this pack we got out Bougie and Eternal, another googly eyes. Archfiend Harris, that's actually a uh, pretty interesting card that people have been using. Hopefully this box can impress us with a good secret or something. If not, it's fine. As I said, it was a prize. And I know it sounds kind of dumb when people say, oh my gosh, I won locals. But our locals here in California, you've heard me say it before, say it before, um, that they're super competitive. I believe we had a pretty big turnout this time. If, if I, I'll do an actual like tournament report thing when I do the deck profile because I know a lot of people, um, when I tweeted that I won, a lot of people requested a deck profile of Firefish. I play like the 3.5 access one um, that Christopher helped me make. And a lot of people were requesting a deck profile, so I will put that up soon. And it's just cool to be able to win uh, something. Especially, it was my first tournament with a deck, actually. A rare. And I was really proud. Um, I will go ahead and say that I actually did lose round one. <laughs> so I was very discouraged. I lost to Girgia, my friend Aiden. And he traps on me. Uh, game two and one. And uh, he had both traps on and seven tools. So there's nothing I could do about that. Um, but I ended up going undefeated the rest of the day. I also had a good time with my friend uh, and teammates, Omar. Um, also, Jeffrey at the shop and everyone, uh, Trap Tricks. And we're down to our last two packs, so hopefully we do get a secret, because if we don't, that would be kind of disappointing. Uh, yeah, our last two packs. A rare Archfiend Calvary and a secret rare. We did get a secret. Our Mady's Keeper of Boundaries. That's actually not a bad secret, to be honest. It's a good thing we didn't get... I mean, uh... I was gonna say, hopefully I didn't get Chess Modified, just because I don't need one, but our Mades is a really cool card to pull, so... We'll go ahead and look at that for a second. It looks really nice. Um, so... It wasn't a horrible, I guess, half of the box. Um, not probably one of my better boxes, but... A secret our Mades is enough to keep me happy, of course. I'm more happy just opening up the packs for fun because I haven't actually done a pack opening in a while other than like my uh, Christmas tins. Just a rare in that pack and that's going to finish off our Judgment of the Light packs. But of course we still have our Gladiator's Assault which I'm very excited about. So let's just go open. Oh, that was up there. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and just crack these open. Uh, for our first promo card we got one Phantom of Darkness. Used to be played in Chaos Dragons. Pretty cool. I'm just going to go ahead and crack these both open. And then we actually got the other uh, promo card, which is Vortex Trooper. Very old retro card. So we got, in each one of these, we got two um, Gladiators Assault and one Dark Crisis. Let's go ahead and do the Dark Crisis packs first. I actually haven't, I don't think I've ever opened up these packs before, even though we have them at the shop. You can actually feel the texture of the cards are different. It's kind of cool. I'll go a little bit slower through the comments just because they're older. Sekirotsu armor, pretty cool. Uh, ultra rare, cost down. <laughs> pretty cool to pull a hollow from these older packs, even though they're not worth a lot. But cool. Uh, common final countdown. Token Thanksgiving. Cool cards. Put these commons to the side. Since they're from... Second dice, dark crisis pack. I believe that was our first card in the other pack too. Another circuit to armor. Uh, a rare archfiend soldier. Precious cards from beyond. At least we got one hollow from the dark crisis, and then we have uh, four packs of gladiators assault. For some reason these packs feel thicker. There's still nine cards in each pack though. Gladiator cards, of course. Uh, a super rare Cloudian Eye of the Ty Typhoons. Everybody loves Cloudians. <laughs> Double edged sword technique. This was played in Aliens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the movie when Aliens came down. Uh, ultra rare evil hero lightning golem it's just cool to see some of these older cards as i said they're not like worth a ton but hey at least they're hollows and we're not pulling like all commons and rares no another double ward sword technique 
Too bad 6 hams aren't really that played anymore. Some people do play them, I guess. They're just not as ideal. Light and Prison Mirror. Very good card to pull. I believe this card is up to like $4 now. I'm going to put that to the side. I actually needed one for the side deck. I was borrowing Christopher's for the tournament. Um, Express Road. Oh, you got oh, excited over a four dollar card. Well, yeah, just because it's a common, I guess, an old common. Um, even though it doesn't compare to anything like Draco Sack or now the new Extinction Knight, which is like one forty, I guess. A uh, rare Cloudian again. Uh, Gladiator beats Best Yari. Pretty cool. I'll put that to the side. But yeah, guys, uh, we did get two hollows out of four packs, so I believe that's pretty good. They weren't the ones I guess I was hoping for, but still really cool. Uh, anyway, let's do a quick recap of the hollows. I already had them all to the side right here. Um, for the two notable commons, we have one Bestiari and one Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. Uh, for our promo cards, we had a Phantom of Chaos and a Vortex Trooper. And then we have our evil hero, Lightning Golem. This Cloudian guy, which is pretty scary. Cost down, rank up, magic force moving into our judgment of life stuff. Uh, kind of a disappointment. I'll be straight up. I, I'm really sad I pulled this. Um, two supers, which are both chaos cards. And then a ultra rare mask chameleon. And our secret rare are maybes, which is pretty nice. Probably the only thing decent we pulled. Other than the mask chameleon, that's actually not that bad. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this pack opening. As I said, I know we didn't pull amazing, but it's pretty cool that it was just a prize that I got from a tournament. And as I said before, I will have my Fireface deck profile up along with a mini tournament report. Um, just saying like what I played against if you guys are curious and so on. So I hope everyone enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day. I will see you later, YouTube.